Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lee Code called Same Tree. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Given the roots of two binary trees, P and Q, write a function to check if they are the same or not. Two binary trees are considered the same if they are structurally identical and the nodes have the same value. So example one, we have one, two, three, and Q is one, two, three as well. Structurally, they are identical. And since they have the same values, we would output true. Example two, we have one and two, but here two is the left child, whereas here two is the right child, so we would output false. In example three, we have one, two, one, and one, one, two, same thing here, so we output false. Okay, so this question itself is pretty straightforward. We just wanna figure out if our given input P and Q are the same tree. So we wanna find out if they are structurally equal and if all the nodes have the same exact values. So like always, we're gonna start off with an example. Say my P and Q are the following tree. So this is tree P and this is tree Q. So these are our input root nodes. The first thing I wanna do is check if my nodes actually exist. If they do, then I wanna compare them. And here I can see they're actually equal in value. They're both one. So now what we wanna do is we wanna check their left and right children respectively. So suppose I check the left child first. I wanna see you know, if it exists and it does. So now I wanna check its value. It is equal, they're both two. So now I wanna check this node's left and right value. And I'm gonna keep going down in my tree to figure out if the nodes are equal. They are over here, right? They're both four. So we sort of bubble back up and now we check the right side of our tree. So we check five and six. Here, since they're not equal, we would actually output false. All it takes is for one condition to fail because for it to be a same tree, every single node needs to be equal. And if it doesn't, we would output false right away. So if you notice, something we're gonna be doing is making a lot of repeat checks, right? Once we get to our root node, we wanna see if that's equal. If it is, now we wanna check our left and right nodes. And we'd be making the same checks over and over for every node as well as their children. So in order to solve this, we're gonna be using recursion. Now, how do we use recursion? Well, for a recursive solution, we have two things. We have the base case and the recursive case. So here, what would the base case be? When would I output true or false? When do I actually return and stop recursing? Well, one case that would happen is if there is no node to exist. So if P is none and Q is none, I would return. And here again, I wanna return a Boolean, right? We're returning true or false. So what Boolean would I return? Well, if both are none, then of course they're equal. So we return true. And what this would mean is we'd actually gone down to the very end of our tree, checking the children that no longer exist. So we'd be comparing none. And so we would return true. Okay, so now when do we return false? Well, we can see here, right? If P and Q, if the nodes are present, but the values aren't equal, we would return false. So if P and Q, so if they both exist and the values aren't equal, so and P.val is not equal to Q.val, we would output false. Now, another condition where we would output false is if either P exists or Q. Say this four here didn't exist. Well, then here we would output false because there is a node present here, but not here. So in that case, we also wanna check for one or the other existing. So if this condition holds true where the values aren't equal, or if P is none, none, or if Q is none, so Q is none, in all of these scenarios, we would be returning false. So return false. Now, what's the other case, right? If both of the nodes are present, so we've gone past this if condition, where neither exists, so we know that's not true. And we go past this as well. So we know both of the nodes are present and their values are equal. In that case, what do we wanna do? Well, that's gonna be our recursive case, right? We no longer have to return. We're at some random node where both P and Q's nodes are present and the values are the same. In that case, what I wanna do is I want to recursively check my nodes left and right values with the same function again. So what we're gonna do is return solf dot is same tree, passing in p dot right and q dot right, as well as doing the same for the left. So solf dot is same tree for p dot left and q dot left. And here, what is this? going to be joined by. This is going to be the AND operator because we need both outputs to return true for our entire answer to be true. If we return false at any point, our entire answer should be false, right? So this is the code. 
and actually before submitting this should be and and there should be an or over here okay so now let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted so talking about space and time complexity for time we'd be going through every single node in our tree potentially so that's going to be o of n for every single node that's in our input and for space because our recursive call stack can build up as high as the number of nodes in our tree, that's also going to be O of n. Now, before leaving, let's just run through a super quick example and go through our code line by line to truly make sure we understand what's happening. Okay, to run through an example, I've gone ahead and modified our P and Q just a little bit. And for this problem, we're gonna be using this as our input P and this as our input Q. And what we wanna do is just go line by line through all of our code and see exactly what we're doing. So to start off with, we're going to be passing in the roots of our binary tree. So that's going to be one and one for both P and Q respectively. And we want to call is same tree on that. So for that, we have is same tree with one and one where P is one and Q is one. So the first thing we do is check if both are none. That's not true. So we don't go into this if condition and we are in this one over here. If both are not none, which is true and the values are not equal. That's not true. They are equal. So now we go into this check. So is P none? Nope and is q none also no, so we can't return false. So now what we wanna do is return is same tree with the right children of p and q and the left children of p and q. So that is going to be six being passed in for right for both p and q, and for left, it's going to be one and two. Now, before we can actually solve for this, what this outputs, we wanna solve for this condition over here because we're calling the function again. So now we want to basically make another call where P is going to be six and Q is going to be six. We're just going down our recursive call stack. So over here, we make the same check, right? Both are not none, so we don't return true. And both are there, but their values are equal and neither is none, so we can't return false either, which means we wanna make another check. And here we're again going to be comparing the left and right children that we have. So what is P's right? So right now my P is six. What is the right? That is going to be none. And same with Q. Q's right is also none. And for our left, P's left and Q's left are both going to be three. This means before I can solve for this function, I now need to solve for these two. So again, we're gonna be checking with our first condition over here. So now we call tree with none and none. So P is none and Q is also none, which means we're dealing with sixes right children, which are as visualized over here, none, right? So we go into this check, both are none. So we would actually return true. So this function over here returns true. That means we return true over here. And now we want to see if this is true. If this is true, then we return true. But if it's false, since it's and, true ended with false would return false. So now we check self dot is same tree with three and three. So P is three and Q is also three. We make the same check. Neither are none and their values are equal and neither is none again. So what we do is call self dot is same tree with the left and right children. Now here, both are going to be none, right? Left is none, right is none, left is none, right is none. So P's right is none, Q's right is also none. And same with P's left and Q's left. Now going through this again with none and none, we know this is going to be true. So it's going to be true. And this is also going to be true. So same tree for three and three is returning true. So right now, if this was just our root node, we would output true because whatever tree this is the root node of is true. So this is all going to be true. And we can bubble this back up to the caller, which is three. So this is true and true, which means six over here is also true. We bubble right back up to our callers. So this is true, which means over here is true. So we check the right-hand side of this node, right? This whole thing is the same tree as this. And now we wanna check the left. So one and two. So calling self dot is same tree with P being one and Q being two. Here, both exist, so they're not none, so we can't return true. And since both exist, now we wanna check the values. They're not equal to each other, right? So we would actually return false. So over here, it's going to be true and false, and we don't even need to go into the rest of the nodes because we automatically return false as soon as we see a single false. 
So bubbling this back up to our initial color of one and one, we would have a false and that's exactly what we would output. So we just went ahead and did same tree. This is a recursive solution. So if you have any questions, just let me know down below and I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful in any way, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.